What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we made it to the director's office and had a safe that, or not a safe, a computer that we tried to log into. We had all these flashbacks from other timelines of different characters' deaths, and I could not put together what the user ID and the password were supposed to be. I did reach out to somebody to ask... Hey, do I have the information necessary to do this? Should I be able to get this information at this time? And they weren't 100% sure, but they, they did say probably not. And so I think with that in mind, what I'm going to do is just kind of progress on with an alternate timeline and see what else we find. Now, looking where we were, I'm going to choose the timeline that's you know closest to this one. So whatever this decision was, AB Game Round 2, if we chose to betray... Uh, we're probably going to get a very short timeline, it seems, just knowing that there are only two question blocks. Although I think sometimes these are a little bit misleading and the events tend to go on longer than expected. But I think that's where we'll want to start from this time around. And eventually we'll make our way back to that computer where we can log in and see what's going on. So this is the next Ambidex game. And I admittedly don't even really remember the exact context of who we're playing with and who we're playing against. So you have 30 seconds remaining. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I guess there isn't really any question. After all, I promised Luna that I'd pick Ally. But what if she was lying to me? Yikes. I would have chosen Ally regardless. They're really going to have us betray Luna? Oh, I'm going to feel so bad inside. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. Oof. Yeah, I mean, if Luna's our opponent, I guess, I mean, we're choosing this timeline, right? So we're going to choose Betray. What do we think happens in that situation? I don't know. We still don't think Luna's really killed anyone. We don't know much about Luna's background at all, other than that she's likely from the more recent future, right? You're going to pick Betray. Oof. It feels bad. It feels really bad, guys. It feels really bad. So there's the end of round two. Something I want to note as well, actually, while I have a minute, is I was letting the intro play for a few seconds, and those opening words ring a little bit more now. Basically saying, why do people betray each other, etc., and then everybody should die. It makes me think they're from the perspective of Zero, or maybe not Zero himself or herself, but whoever is attacking Zero, right? So whoever is Zero betrayed somebody else, and then that somebody else, I don't know, either participates in the Zero uh, or the Nonary game forcibly, like Dio, or enlists somebody like Dio to participate in the Nonary game. I'm not really sure, and I know it'll come together in the end, but just some, some random thoughts. Anyways, time for those results. I'm curious to see if any of the other results change based on our betrayal, though, too. So Temyoji, Quark, and Clover, they betray Ally, Ally, and then betray and Ally. Oof. Oof, it hurts. So Quark and Temyoji betraying Clover, I believe, is the same as last time because Quark did have nine points in the other timeline, too, and Clover was incredibly upset with Temyoji. That's almost what triggered her, um, in my opinion, to go on a, you know, lethal rampage. But... Fine, Dio and K, they all ally, which is surprising, but fine. That's right, this is Fi's guarantee, isn't it? Okay, now we have to face Luna afterwards. And I don't know what just happened to my game, but we are we're back. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. The real question is, are the pairings gonna be different? Sigma, why? Oh, Luna, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you promised. How could you? Why won't you say something? At least give me an excuse. Say, say you wanted to protect everybody, or you slipped and hit the wrong button. Oh, Luna just wants to think you're a good person, Sigma. Anything. 
I don't care if it's a lie. Just... just say something. I... I can't trust you anymore, can I? No, I guess not. I see. Alright then. You did it so that you could get more points, right? I wanted to say no, but I couldn't. She was right. I shut my eyes and turned away. I trusted you. Goodbye. Luna's face twisted as she spun away, but not before I saw tears glistening in the corners of her eyes. Sigma, you made her cry! No! It makes me so sad. Poor Luna. My heart sank into my stomach like a lump of lead. I lost something very precious. Like they say, trust takes years to build, but only a second to break. If only could I, if only I could have taken that second back. But that was impossible. Life only moves in one direction, and you only get to make your choices once. <laughs> the irony. The past is the past, and it stays there. Or does it? Hey! Where do you think you're going? I wonder if this is the same. It's not. Oh, okay. Isn't it obvious? I'm going to go look for Quark. Hey, wait! Clover yelled after him, but Temyoji ignored her and continued toward the magenta door. She glared at his receding back and muttered something under her breath. Something must have happened between them. Temyoji, you're going to go look for Quark, right? Yeah, so? I want to help. No thanks. Really? Nah, much as I'd like to say that I need all the help I can get. I don't remember, did this happen last time? Did Luna and Temyoji pair up to go look for Quark? I think they did, actually. I think so. Think you can give me a hand? Of course. Let's go. They headed off through the magenta door together. So there they go. I feel like last time I remember there being more of a discussion between Clover and Temyoji. Clover was left standing by herself, brows furrowed and head down, deep in thought. Then suddenly she stood up straight and took off through the cyan door. I turned and saw that only Fi and K were left. Where's Dio? He went off toward the yellow door while you and Luna were talking. He just walked out? Yes. He did check the results before he left. I bet he wasn't very happy. If Fi had chosen Betray, he'd be sitting pretty with 9 BP right now. I imagine he would. Fortunately, Fi is much too clever for that. That was why I chose Ally. It was an easy decision. I remember this exact conversation. <laughs> but if you betrayed her, then you'd have been able to get or er, you'd have been able to get out of here. Perhaps. But I made a promise to Fi. Is that meant is that intended to stab us in the back? A promise, huh? Were you really sure Kay wouldn't betray you? Of course not. I'm not an idiot. I didn't really have a choice, though. The only option was to trust him. That's so. Yeah. Don't you think that's important? Trusting someone, I mean? <laughs> I don't remember if this conversation happened the same way last timeline, but if it did, it's certainly impacting me a lot more this time around. Or at least impacting me differently. Alright, we should go and look for Quark too. 
Oh my goodness. There's uh, quite a bit of thunder out there. Hope you guys don't get bothered by that. Indeed. Best we split up, wouldn't you say? We did say, and each one of us left for a different area of the facility. I took the magenta door. Fly went to the yellow door. And K took the cyan door. So K is going through the same door that Clover went through. Um, I think we're going through the same one that Dio went through. The yellow door. And Fi went through the magenta, which is where Tenyoji and Luna went through. So that was the pantry, I believe. This is Gollum Bay. We're looking around. Are we finding much? Uh oh, the music's coming to a close. But no matter how hard I looked, Quark was nowhere to be found. Eventually, I decided to head back to the warehouse. So a lot could have taken place during that time period. What? T Tenyoji, we, we actually found Quark? So that's a pretty big difference in this timeline. <laughs> We're gonna learn where Quark actually was. Now the real question is, what happened after Tenyoji and Luna left together? What's going on? You... you found Quark? Wouldn't be here if I hadn't. I am curious though, because if Luna and Tenyoji were together, they probably would have run to the infirmary together, right? Where was he? Like, I'm gonna tell you that. Huh? Interesting. I wouldn't... I wouldn't think it was such a given that Tenyoji would try to hide Quark's location. Why is it so important to not reveal where Quark's hidden location was? The only thing I can think of is that it was some place Tenyoji had limited access to and can't comfortably reveal that he was able to look for Quark in. Um, or... I don't know. What 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 could other people do with that information? What? Did I did I do something wrong? You broke your promise to Luna. I don't like people who break promises. Okay. Okay, that's fair. I'll I'll give that to you this timeline, Temyoji. I'll give that to you. There was no rebuttal for that. Well, I'm glad you found him. Huh. You got some balls saying that, acting like you give a crap about him. Is... is he okay? He looks tired. He's just sleeping. Seems somebody shot him up with some kind of anesthetic. Which is really interesting, right? Because we know that when we last saw Quark, he was acting up and everything, and he just bolted as soon as he escaped from one of the, well, escape rooms. So sorry again about that thunder. I don't want to stop recording, though. Um, but he just bolted from one of the rooms, right? So he had to have been found by somebody, and that somebody must have administered some anesthetic in order to put him to sleep like this. So somebody had found Quark and put him in this state. It's not just that Quark ran off and hid somewhere and then has been missing ever since, right? Which means now we have the question of who did this to Quark? Somebody knew where Quark or has known where Quark was the whole time. Hmm. I'm not really sure. I'd have to review more of the details from earlier in the timeline to look at that specific moment when Temyoji, Clover, and Quark left the door, and then and then what? Right? Who could have run into Quark from that time period forward? Who was unaccounted for? Someone? Who? Heck if I know. And honestly, I don't really care anymore. Why not? Quark's safe. Now all I have to do is get him out of here and this'll all be over. Wait. You make it sound like you can get out right now. Oh, Temyoji's gonna push Quark through the door. I can. Well, he can. How? Didn't you see the results? Quark's BP is... Yeah, nine. Exactly. 
The real question that I'm wondering is, does Quark have his bracelet? I guess? Oh, so this is actually a really interesting consideration. Because Temyoji and Clover needed Quark's bracelet in the other timeline to get through the door. So they eventually did find Quark, or rather, they did find Quark's bracelet, which was, and they likely found it on Quark himself. So they did eventually find Quark in that timeline too. It is possible that somebody else had found Quark or taken Quark's bracelet and they found that bracelet elsewhere, but I don't think that's as likely. But I'm curious, because in that timeline, we considered the possibility that Quark had lost his bracelet because of some anesthetic dropping his heart rate to zero, or something like that, right? And that's how Quark was able to run free while alive, um, without a bracelet on, and that's how Temyoji and Clover were able to obtain that bracelet. So we don't actually know that Temyoji and Clover found Quark in that other timeline, but there's a good chance that they did or very real chance that they did. And then in this timeline, they find Quark before Quark, I don't know, is up and, and running about, potentially activating AB rooms for whoever is left alive. But I'm really, I really wanna know if Quark has his bracelet. So you're gonna have him pull the lever and open the number nine door? Yeah. Of course, he's gonna need my help to do that. But what about you? You've only got four BP. Even if you can get the door open, you'll... Yeah, Tenyoji's willing to make that sacrifice. Three, now maybe some of you are thinking, you're thinking, oh ho, if my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door, and I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... Think I don't know that? It doesn't matter though. So long as Quark is safe, then I... My guard was down. I barely even saw him move. It wasn't until pain exploded in my stomach that I realized Temyoji had kicked me. <laughs> wow. So many people in this Nonary game are much more physically capable than they lead on, right? Or than they let on. We saw Temyoji's explosive power once earlier with Dio in another timeline. And here it is again, right? I let out a strange sort of wheeze and collapsed to the floor. Blinking again against the pain, I managed to find Temyoji again. He maneuvered Quark up to the number 9 door. Stop! Temyoji! Moving made me wretch, and before I could recover and call out again, he'd done it. Temyoji's hand pressed Quark's against the lever. He looked back at me over his shoulder. Yep, there we go. So it looks like that's gonna be it for, for this timeline. Sorry. Door's almost open, so it's time I was on my way. Temyoji, don't. Don't be an idiot. If you go through there, you'll... Believe me, I know. But I gotta stay with him as long as I can. Couldn't live with myself if I just tossed him out there unconscious, you know? Then stay here. Can't do that. Why not? There's a killer here. It's too dangerous. I can't take that risk with Quark's life. So he's gonna go through the door. What happened to Luna? The number nine door has been opened. Like, I really wish we could take a quick, you know, survey at the moment and see just who is alive. If Luna's dead at the moment, that could implicate Temyoji. It will remain open for nine seconds. See ya. Temyoji, wait. Don't do this. Temyoji. Temyoji. Yikes. And with that, Quark escapes and everybody else dies.
The number nine door has closed. This ends the Nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Man, if only we could explore all the rooms now that all the doors are unlocked. Please enjoy your stay. Yikes. That was how it ended. Had Temyoji died? Had Quark escaped? I didn't know. It's interesting to think that this is seemingly dependent on our decision to betray Luna, right? Our, our betraying Luna in this scenario caused, per se, uh, Temyoji to find Quark. Whereas in the previous timeline, it didn't happen. Actually, yeah, this basically confirms that if Temyoji finds Quark, he's almost certainly going to bring Quark through the door. So, so what can we take away from this? Our trust with Luna, our demonstration of allying Luna, is important for other people, but what? how does that prevent Temyoji from finding Quark? It seems to hinge on where... I mean, I, I guess the whole idea is we're not going to find a direct causal relationship between our choosing to betray and Temyoji finding the specific location that... Um, that Quark is in. The whole idea is these timelines influence one another, our decisions in one, the future in, you know, impacting the past, yada yada yada, right? So it's not going to be a traditional, logical, sort of direct cause-effect relationship, but we're supposed to interpret it as such, right? That our decision to betray led to Temyoji finding Quark in whatever location it is, and thus ending the Nonary game in a rather unsatisfactory result. So, in order to get our, you know, true result, our best result, we're going to want to demonstrate that trust with Luna. And I don't think an sitting here analyzing is going to reveal what that location is, right? I laid my hand gently against my aching stomach and stared up at the ceiling. Faint approaching footsteps echoed through the warehouse. One of them was a killer. Whatever. It didn't matter anymore. I was never going to see the outside world again. Perhaps it would be better if I just let them kill me. I lay back and closed my eyes. And it came to an end. That's a game over, ladies and gentlemen. So I guess we'll, we'll save. And head back to the timeline. That was that was a pretty quick one. I mean, the game over ones tend to be relatively quick, right? So that's an end. That's basically what happens if Temyoji finds Quark. I mean, we've all seen various timelines. All the game over ones are some condition where one of the characters is able to leave and, and does so, right? So at this point, we've explored one of these bigger branches, right? At this branch point here where we head into the chromatic doors after having chosen to ally in the very first round. Also great, now it's raining. Hopefully that's not too much background noise either. Albeit, I really enjoy um, rain in the background. We have this other branch to pick as well. So going through the magenta door, we went through the lounge, okay? And then after the escape, we go to the first AB round. And initially, we chose ally, I believe, right? Because I naively <laughs> chose ally basically with all of these, right? Um, so let's go back here, and this time around, I guess we'll choose betray and see where that takes us. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. What? Oh, so is this... Let me check. Is this the very first AB game? It is. Interesting. So this is the very first one where Fi is very insistent on picking Betray. What? You're kidding. You really want me to betray Luna? No, we have to betray Luna twice in one episode? 
<laughs> twice in one episode, guys? I don't know if I can do that. Betraying Luna twice. Ugh, we don't know if she'll ally or not. We choose ally and she chooses betray. Yeah, we've seen all this before, obviously. Ugh, so we have to betray Luna. I feel awful. We explored the lounge with Luna, I think. Was it? Is that what happened? Yeah, we went through Magenta Door, Phi, Luna, and I. Ah, we explored the area. We're trying to get to the. Um, I guess we'll, we'll skip this for now. Um, what was just said? So, Temyoji was left behind. His footsteps a slow, heavy plod. Huh. What had happened to make him like that? And then Sigma asks Phi, were you telling the truth? If our BP hit zero, do we really... Well, you chose Betray because of what I said, right? Don't worry. You made the right choice. You better not have lied to me so I choose Betray. Well, Zero will tell you if I lied or not. Zero? Yo, what's up? Sigma Kun, Pai Kun. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We haven't talked with Zero in so long. We're about to announce the results. Okay, you'll see in a minute. Let's go, Sigma. Hey, what do you mean Zero's gonna tell me? Hey, Fi, hold on. Darn it. Yeah, that is, a, that is actually pretty curious. Was Fi lying about, you know, Betray being the good choice? How is Zero gonna indicate otherwise? Good, good, good. Looks like you're all here, finally. Let's get ready to rock. Okay. Ambidex game. Round one. The results. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor, the voice acting for Zero Jr. is really quite great, honestly. But yeah, so gonna feel awful about betraying Luna, as is usual. Twice in one episode, we were so strong. So K and Clover betrayed Alice. Wow, so they're just, every pair was a betray ally pair. So, wow. That is actually quite interesting. Like really quite interesting. Um, I'm trying to think. Anyways, sorry, I got sidetracked. But, um, so Kay and Clover paired together, and they chose to betray Alice. I don't remember what the results were the other way around. But it's pretty surprising to see Clover betray Alice. I don't know if that happened last time. Actually, I think it did, because I recall Alice's bracelet being a one. So I think she was betrayed in the other timeline, too. Dio and Quark betraying Temyoji, I think that happened as well. Surprisingly, as well. And then, of course, we betray Luna, and we're gonna feel awful about it yet again. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Um, they're gonna be mixed up quite a bit compared to last time. And... Sigma? Why did you and Fi do that? All we had to do was choose ally three times and we could all escape together. After this, we would only have, we only would have needed two more rounds and we would have all had nine points. But now we... Why? I hung my head. There was no way I could look her in the eye and try to explain what I'd done. It was me. I told him to betray you. What? There's a way to get out faster. If you're successful twice with betray, you'll get three points each time, which gives you six. That means you'll have 9 BP after the second AB game. I know that. 
誰よりも早く脱出するためにあなたたちは裏切りを選んだんでしょう。Is that why you chose betray? So you can escape before the rest of us? いや、誤解するな。Hey, don't get me wrong. そういうわけではない。I'm not trying to get out first or anything. 私は少しでも有利にゲームを進めるために。Just wanted to have a little leverage. How is leverage supposed to help you? Well, I was planning on getting out of here with everybody else, any. You're lying. What makes you think I'm going to believe that? Their eyes met for a long moment, but all I could see in Luna's was sadness and disappointment. Oh, Luna, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I open her mouth, then shut it again and looked away. I was about to apologize to Luna when. Hey! What were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Oof, and down goes the trust. I'm trying to remember, it's been a long time since we've heard Alice speak, right? <laughs> She keeps dying so early in so many timelines. Well, no, that's what I thought at first. But Kay told you to choose Betray, didn't he? Yes, I did. So here's something a little bit interesting about this dynamic is this time around, All of the different trios basically have a, well, I didn't want to betray you, but somebody else told me to, so I did. And now we get a little bit of a look into how people respond to such an excuse. I was sure you would vote similarly. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote betray against Clover. Is that so? You never considered that we might choose to betray you? What? Clover would never choose that, of course. But what if I was your sole opponent? I understand it might seem strange of me to say this, but who would trust a man who hides his face? If I were you're in, your in your position, I would be quite certain my masked opponent would choose betray. Well... But it wasn't just you. Clover was there too. Yes, she was. But if I chose an end in argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? I was certain you'd choose Betray for that very reason. So that was why you did it? Yes. After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. And honestly, he does have a pretty good point. It's alright. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AV game. That was when I finally noticed Dio, Quark, and Temyoji. Let me give you a little warning, Temyoji. That little brat is a heck of an actor. Oh, I do remember this conversation. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. <laughs> I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust the kid as far as I could throw him. And at your age, that can't be much. I remember that laughing at that line last time. You hear me, old man? Keep an eye on him. It looked like things hadn't gone as planned for the other teams either. Can I really not skip this? Nonetheless, we all seem to have reached some sort of truce. Zero, when does the next round start? 
What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Yeah, I guess you've got a point. You're right, there will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Uh, I was gonna say, if we're gonna go through all the rules again, <laughs> kinda just wanna skip through them. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So let me just close them. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round 2 of the Ambidex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these sun cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now you'll have to look for cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody, anybody's guess how long it'll go, but I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number 9 door. I really can't skip? Okay, finally, I can skip again. <laughs> so, just kind of explaining the rules again. Which, of course... So this is different from last time, right? And that's because all three of them have one point, right? They're talking about what happens as far as like punishment goes. Yeah, somebody might die during the next round of the AB game, right? Or maybe everyone? Interesting. What? Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. And more skipping. I see. Alice, Luna, and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the heck? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. <laughs> After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Faikun? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but maybe Zero actually singles out Phi here because they're aware that Phi actually does know the rules, right? Phi was able to communicate that you don't want to drop below 1 BP because then you might die, right? So Phi actually is aware of the rules even though everybody else wasn't. I guess so. Yeah, that's actually seemed very intentional. I took a moment to go everything in my head, and we are going to take a moment to click that skip button while you go through everything again. A lot of arguments, like a lot of them, but now they're going back over Dio's, not Dio's, Sigma's initial capture, and now we're choosing where to go. Um, I guess we started with the lounge last time, so, or I don't know, we'll go to the crew quarters and see what happens here. 
It seems to be the same interaction. Temyoji, Luna and Clover. Wow. So a lot of this is the same. I almost tempted to like go through different parts of I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to like review different parts of different timelines again. I don't know if that's how the game was intended to be played, like going back to timelines to review what happened in them. I honestly wish that was something I could do from the flowchart. I will say that as much as I have enjoyed the game so far, and there really aren't very many things to, to complain about, one of the things is that I don't think the flowchart provides enough summary information for what happened at each of these blocks in the flowchart. Because when you have so many timelines going on with so many different events, it can be really difficult to remember who was with who and who went where and, and who talked about what and that sort of thing. And I think quickly reviewing from the flowchart would, uh, would be a really nice benefit, at least the option to do so, right? Not anything mandatory or that would, you know, obscure the, the HUD or anything like that. So, yeah, but regardless, um, what was just being talked about here? So Kay had been talking about wearing the armor and then was about to move on to the next room. Okay. No, there still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too. I see. We haven't heard Quark talk in a long time either, have we? Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Hmm... I think I'll be moving along, too. Where do you plan to go? So interesting that fine quarks stay behind in the infirmary, and now we head to the lounge. I was thinking maybe I'd head to the lounge. Very well. I shall head for the crew quarters, then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. No skipping. Kay's robe silent, or float silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. And we weren't able to skip. Which is pretty interesting. What's going to be different about visiting the lounge now? Ah, Sigma. Oh, Sigma. So it's Alice and Dio here. Really quickly, can I skip? I can. Okay, so that's not actually going to be very different, is it? Unfortunately. But so they're talking about the whole idea of everybody being quarantined, Radical 6. They talked about New Year's and stuff, right? Um, but now, what, what was just being talked about? So, is this Radical 6 killed? If this Radical 6 killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? And then Alice says, I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Crap, we're late! Uh, yeah. Alright then, we should hurry. So let's see if this is also skippable. Doesn't seem so. But the next set of chromatic doors is going to open. So we went through the magenta one first, where we explored the lounge. And now we're going to go through what? When we were looking at the flowchart, it doesn't seem like we're actually going to have a choice this time around. Which is pretty interesting. So I wonder where we'll end up. And we get there just as the doors open. There's the red, green, and blue. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. What the heck were you doing? Sorry. That's not good enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey. Whoa, calm down there, girl. I made it in time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee. I wonder. <laughs> Come on, come on now, Fi. 
Please calm down. Fighting now helps no one. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <laughs> what I do to deserve this baka? Yikes. So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options Phi laid out for us were the following. Option A, Alice and I would pair up with Luna and go through the green door. Is that what leads us to Gollum Bay? Maybe? Temyoji and Quark would pair up with Clover and open the blue door. Phi and Dio would pair up with K and open the red door. Yeah, I think that is what happened in the previous timeline. Option B, Alice and I would pair up with K and go through the blue door. Did we do that before in, in the rec room, maybe? Temyoji and Quark would pair up with Luna and open the red door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Clover and open the green door. I don't know if that's happened before. Option C, Alice and I and Clover would pair up and go through the red door. I feel like we've done that before. Temyoji and Quark would pair up with K and open the green door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Luna and open the blue door. I think it's that option B is the only one we haven't really done. For some reason, the other ones seem more familiar. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay, so who's going to go where? I'm not going with K. I had enough of that last time, thank you very much. Oh dear, seems I'm not wanted. I'd like Luna to come with us. Huh? Me? Need someone gullible for the next round? Hey, shut up. Aren't you my partner? Maybe, but I don't want her to think that means I agree with you. <laughs> Tio's not even, you know, refuting me. You betrayed me last time, Fi. Yeah. Yeah, we betrayed Fi this time, or betrayed Luna this time around, so she really has very few people to trust. In fact, she might really only trust Temyoji and Alice. And Dio, you betrayed Temyoji. Oh, come on, didn't I tell you? It was Quark who. Dio! Stop saying that! Anyway, fine, I won't be choosing Betray this time. Your BP is 1 right now, isn't it? If you choose Ally and we choose Betray, what would it be? Minus 1. I die. I didn't want to say it straight out, but yeah. We're not going to go that far just to get out of here. Oh, you will though, Dio. You will though, Dio. Right, Fi? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to take a chance on you. What? Luna! I thought I was a naive optimist. Luna, though. Luna, are you sure about this? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then that means Quark and I will be going with K. Since it looks like Alice is pretty determined. Yes, I am. Then I get to go with Alice again. I'm totally good with that. What I did to Alice last time was really bad. I want to try to make up for it. So we're going with option C then. That means each group is going through a complementary door. 
Sigma, Alice, and Clover are going through the red door. Maybe we'll finally get the pantry now. Temyoji, Quark, and Kay are going through the green door. And finally, Dio, Luna, and I are going through the blue door. Any objections? I mean, I don't remember which rooms are behind which doors or anything like that, so I can't really... can't really analyze which room, uh, you know, what's... When I think the green door has the garden and Gollum Bay, I think. The blue door maybe has the control room. And then I think the red door has the pantry. But that's about all I remember. And I can't quite think of much more to read into why certain people might be, you know, pushing for a particular room over another. Or things we need to worry about in each room, or if each person is in, each, in a particular room, right? What items they might steal and use later on in the timeline. But, but like I said, I'm, <laughs> everything's too jumbled up in my head to remember all that. If there were any objections, there was no time for them. Yes. Go. Let's go. The announcer's voice filled the room as we ran for our doors. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic door is closing. Here we go, moment of truth. Where are we going to be headed? Huh? Is this a dead end? There are three doors. But it looks like they're all locked. And what about this thing does? Well, it's got a lever. Can you pull that, Sigma? Sure thing. So that door opens. The door to what? It's the door on the right. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It opened the door on the right. Hmm. That seems kind of weird. I mean, why just that one? What about the other two? Details, details. Hardly seems important to me. They gave us a way forward. I say we take it. Come along now. Without waiting for a response, Alice strode off toward the open door. Clover and I hurried to follow. I'm excited. What, what room is this going to be? I doubt they would give us a room that we've already been to, right? It is the pantry. We're finally getting a snack. Finally grabbing some food, going to the pantry. Looks like we'll have some interesting puzzles to solve in here. Whoa, this is amazing. Who'd ever need this much underwear? What? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? Not panty, pantry. And there are a lot of boxes. Panties. Isn't that what it said on the door? Clover, dear. It didn't say panty. It said pantry. <laughs> pantry? It's where you keep food. Uh, oh. I guess that makes more sense. That's pretty funny. Her face had turned an especially amusing shade of red. What do you think that thing is? I'd say it's a water storage tank. It's totally full of water. This stuff on the shelves looks like it's mostly bread, maybe a few pastries, but no panties. <laughs> so just a whole bunch of food, huh? Clover was right that there's a lot, though. It looks like you could live here for quite a while. I'd have to agree. Then what do you think this place is for? Maybe it's where they quarantine sick people. What? Didn't we tell you? About Radical Six? 
I guess that story really was true. You're saying that the reason they've got all this food and water is so that they can keep infected people here? That's ridiculous. I'm not infected with some weird disease. I don't want to spend the rest of my life locked up in a metal box. Me either. <laughs> Giving us food is all well and good, but no spare underwear? That's unforgivable. <laughs> I love that Alice just keeps harping on this joke. Seriously? How long are you guys going to keep making fun of me for that? <laughs> it is pretty funny. Right, well, we need to search this room. So let's get started. We're presented with a new escape room, which is pretty exciting, honestly. But of course, we're going to tackle this escape room in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We really did quite a bit. We have, we finished one timeline where we betrayed Luna in one way, and then we start another timeline where we betrayed Luna yet again. It felt awful, and now we're in the pantry, which has surprisingly upbeat and energetic sound going in the background. But I'm looking forward to whatever puzzles we have here and seeing how things play out this time around. We also, in that other timeline, found out that Temyoji found Quark somewhere, right? But we never found out what that exact location was. But we also have a little bit of an idea now of what Temyoji would do if you were to find Quark, which is not incredibly surprising, but it makes it seem less likely that he found Quark, I guess, any early time, any time earlier in one of the other timelines, right? Because if, well, that were the case, he probably would have taken him to the, you know, to the number nine door. So, anyways, a lot more to think about, a lot more to look forward to, but of course, all that's going to be in the next episode. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. Thank <laughs> you.